Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Alamant Lantis. <laughs> I'm playing on Minecraft PG5's Atlantis map, and in case you don't remember, we are underwater by about 200 bo blocks, I believe. And uh, when we left off, we finished up doing this, and I was going to see uh, if I could make a way to do to get some fish and while you were gone I made this little fishing area because as far as I know you need to um, have uh, like a surface in order to fish like if, if you throw a fishing rod into the endless abyss of the ocean it just floats up and up and up and up and you can never catch a fish or something like that as far as I've been able to experiment with um, so I built this little fishing area and uh, I caught a few fish and was able to eat so that's why my hunger is a little bit higher today I'd like to uh, actually I should go check on my tree see if oh wait I don't have a tree yet <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm, I've got another version of this map going on uh, another computer, and I have a tree farm down there. Uh, I'm just testing out what I can do. Uh, so, what I'd like to do in this episode is continue digging down here a little bit, clear out this space some more, and... Uh, I'm going to dig down deeper and uh, get a nice big ol' area to uh, grow some trees in. And while I do that, I'm going to talk to you about what I have been up to in my spare time, because I'm pretty excited about what I've been up to. Um, <laughs> in my last... Uh, Alamantis' third echelon video, I talked about the um, seven-day fishing game jam that I elected myself to partake in, if that's uh, enough big words there. Um, and basically what that is, is a game jam is a game, is a, an event for game developers to develop a game in in an accelerated amount of time. The most famous one that I've heard of is called the uh, Ludum Dare, and I need a new pickaxe. Um, but the Ludum Dare is a challenge where oops, game developers get, uh, I think it's like two days, 48 hour period, to create a game based on a certain uh, category that they decide beforehand and you can pre prepare your game and I need more uh, torches so I don't run into any bad things down there. Ah, see? Cooked fish. That's good. I didn't... Oh wait, I have torches. Stupid Alamantis. Um, anyway... The Ludum Dare, it's 48 hours to create a complete game with a specified, uh, like, category to, uh, kind of tie it all together. And it's a lot of fun. People create some really neat, uh, free games. And so, I'm doing this one. I already have a game going on. If, uh... If you're following my game development um, adventures, there's a link in the description for all of that stuff that I'm doing. Um, but if you're not, you should, because uh, I've already got another game going, but this, I just wanted to take part in this game jam just because it sounded so fun and so easy. I had had this idea going around in my mind to... Uh, Man, and I'm sorry if uh, 
if everyone watching has already heard me talk about this, but for anyone who hasn't, who hasn't seen my last uh, third echelon video, um, my idea is for my game is to uh, you are the ocean and or you're the personification of the ocean, and you have to stop the the boats and everything from destroying uh, from well eliminating the fish population in the ocean by destroying them <laughs> and uh, basically I have a story right now uh, the ocean created you um, your name is C S E A and the ocean created you to defend its uh, fish population and to eradicate the uh, land from its surface and so you go around getting stronger and destroying islands <laughs> in order to like reclaim the the planet the entire planet for the ocean and it's pretty fantastic. The seven day fishing dare is in full swing right now. It started on Monday, May 20th, and I'm about a half to a quarter of the way, quarter of the way finished with my game already, and that's pretty exciting. I got a lot of stuff done today. I'm going to thing down here anyway. Um, got a lot of stuff finished for that uh, game today, and I'm pretty excited about it. Right now I have several different kinds of boats with different AI, and, um, yeah, you can destroy them, and I've just made a ton of progress, and I'm really proud of it already. <laughs> and... Once I am done with it, you can count on me to put a link to where you can download it for free because I'm just that kind of guy. And also, uh, oops, I'm not going to use that in when I'm not underwater. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, I'll be sure to let you know as soon as I am finished with it. Uh, so you can try it out. It's controlled, or it's possible to be controlled entirely through, entirely with the mouse, rather. Um, and even in this early stage, it's I think it's pretty fun. You go around, you build up speed on the water, and you launch a wave at the at the boats floating out there, and I have this really satisfying crash <laughs> sound effect for when the boats sink, and it's a lot of fun already. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys think about it. Anyway, it is about eight minutes into this episode of Atlantis, and I'm going to continue digging this up and speed up time a little so that you don't have to be bored watching me. So, yeah. See you in a sec. Achievement number one! We found coal! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this is fantastic! Coal, coal, coal. Woohoo! Can mark that off. <laughs> Oh man, so much, so much good thing, so many good things happening right now. Oh, all in a time lapse too. 
Woo! What are the chances? Haha, <laughs> I just got two achievements. Two of my achievements for this game. For this map. Oh, how fantastic. Oh, this is wonderful. This is fantastic. I'm so happy. I did it! Yay! So I've cleared out that stuff, got some iron, that's fantastic. I can make an iron pick, or I'll probably have to use this uh, sparingly, but uh, man, once I figure out what I should use it for, whew, this is fantastic, I'm so happy about that. Alright, well I got another stone pickaxe ready, um, because this is going to break, probably uh, now. There it is, yeah. <laughs> okay. So where would be a good place to plant a tree? And that probably is as good a place as any, I guess. Maybe here. I'll just fill it all in with dirt. Okay, so... We want the tree to be... Mm, probably right here. Uh, s man, this is fantastic. I'm leaving some of the coal in there for later, because, uh, it, it's a really big vein of coal. I'm not sure, uh, how much is in there. I also got a lot of gravel, which means that I can, well, 40. I didn't realize I got that much. But I got a flint, too, which means I can probably make a flint and steel. Later on, I'm probably going to use this area down here. I'm going to darken it up, clear it out a little bit, and use that as like a little mob spawning area. See if I can fight things. That'll be fun. Um, anyway, there you go. There you go, tree. Dig this out. And, eh, why not? I'm clear that out, too. Take this wall back once more. One more thing. Uh, more iron! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was a really good idea. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is a good episode. Good times. Good times. Okay. Well, I've got one chest. I'm going to have to run outside again. Oops. There we go. There's more coal. Good heavens. How much coal is there? So much coal. Whew! Alright. There we go. Okay. That's good. That's good. Alright. Now. Um. Yes. Dig this out. Dig that out. Dig that out. Put some of the dirt up there just to keep the little symmetry going. Just for fun. So that's going to sit there for a while, and it's going to grow eventually. Now, my hope, my deep, deep hope, is that when it does grow, it's going to uh, drop more saplings than I started off with. <laughs> um, really hoping for that, because if it doesn't... Uh, I'm screwed. I'm out of that kind of tree forever, unless I find somewhere where there's magically a sapling for some reason. <laughs> and since everything is underwater, I don't expect that to uh, happen any time. So, let's see, it's getting on to about ten minutes. I got Maybe two minutes left. I'm gonna try to expand this area a little bit. Uh, I heard it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, if I can expand this all the way out to there, where that sand is, then I can go and collect sand really easily and uh, get even more of my accomplishments. 
which would be to, uh, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Put that dirt back. Um, make, which would be to make glass domes. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, oh, it's nighttime. I wouldn't even know it. <laughs> uh, righty, oops, gonna drown. Don't even have my bucket on me. Oh, yes, I do. What you doing, Alamantis? Get your bucket on that hot bar. I know. I know it. I'm crazy. Oh. I'm getting a little bit of lag here. Because I'm outside at night. Get that bucket on there. Alright. Mm. I don't know about this. I'm going to go in and get some sleepy bye. Because I'm lagging out. Oh, man. Lagging, lagging, lagging. Must be because it's night. It's got to be. Wait. I thought it was night. What? What time is it? Man, I need some gold. That's what I need. I need some gold and some redstone. So I can make me a clock. So I can know when it's night time. Because right now, I don't know so good. I don't know so good. Mm. Oh, I see. I actually want this to be up higher so that I can keep my high ceiling. Mm -hmm. There, 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 there. There. And... Boo -doo -doo. Oh. Sounds like my wife is coming home, so I'm going to wrap this episode up pretty soon here. All right, and there we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And get another bucket full. Let's fill in these. There you go. And then, I'm going to go back out, fill it in with dirt, and this is how you do it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. You fill everything in. It all gets... Oopsies, that's not what I wanted. Ooh, that's definitely not, not, not what I wanted. Ooh, I'm going to drown out here. I'm going to drown. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get that bucket. All right. Get the shovel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Reach, reach, reach. Reach, reach, reach. Yeah! There you have it. Now I can light that up. And we've got a nice, big fishing pond. I can cast my line out as far as I freaking need to, because it goes so flipping far that it's just dang near impossible to catch a blasted fish. Because it goes out so dang far! And let's see if I can end the episode with the fish catching. Come on. I'm going to break this, aren't I? Aw, oh, dang it. Well, anyway, it works in theory. <laughs> and my fishing rod is probably going to break soon, which probably means I'm going to start starving, which probably means that I need to find a way to spawn spiders so that I can get more string, because I've only got just enough for one more fishing rod in that chest that I was provided with. So, anyway, I'm going to say goodbye, and I will see you all next time. 